<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Beck from Bet's Closet. Um, so I have a new little hobby here. As you see, it's under construction. I am into these backyard chickens. So I have five hens. My goal was to get this up, you know, when they hit four months old to get them over. I got it half, half of it right. I got them over into the coop part, but the run part is not um, done. It's up, but I'm putting my hardware cloth on and just making that predator proof the best that I can. So this is the Guardian Chicken Coop by Producers Pride. Now in the front here, this is what I call the Rooster's Bachelor Pad. So I have currently five. They live in there. Now during the day, I put the girls in there so they have a big run. And you'll see my boys back there. They, I call them currently my yard guard, guard dogs. So they're, they're not able to get with the hens. I'm not doing um, fertilized eggs. So my hens will always be in here. And then if I let them free range, the boys will go up. So that's what I'm doing. So here is the back. So I can show you this because this is all done. So they get to go in here, except the run isn't done. So I have to switch them over to the boys right there. And you see how close they are? So some people say, don't do that. They, ha they can't see each other. They have to be far away. Well, as you see, I have a tarp in between. That's fine, but the, you know, roosters have been here since I've had them. And being in Florida, it's already pretty warm. They were, I had them in the Sentinel. It's the brooder. And that was actually under my very first coop that I put together with stuff that I found out here on the land. So what I had done when I got it is before I put any of the panels together, and there was about five of us to do this, I had put caulking. And it's the clear caulking. So I did that. Oh, look, there's squeakers down there. So I put that all around because there is where this is. <laughs> there's a gap. So with it, when it rains here, it either rains very, very light or somebody turned the water faucet on. So every crack that there possibly was, I put the caulking in the clear. Then I had waterproofed all of the siding, oops, sorry, the siding, and I used Thompson's waterproof. It was like something at Ace. And then I also, before that, had treated it with, it was through milk paint. So I had, you know, came across somebody on YouTube that made a video about that using milk paint because it has stuff in it that helps with the bugs like mites and things like that it's got lime or something like that in it i don't know so i got it's an off-white paint so i painted all the interior then i put the through milk paint it's a waterproofing as well and mold and all of that i put that over top of that i did the outside of it and then I also put Thompson. So I'll kind of show you, you see when I put the waterproof on how it makes this red here. Now this side here, I hadn't done it, but you see where this oil from the inside has come through the wood from the inside. So you can see, you know, when it's treated and the color when it's not. Of course, right now, because we've had the three days of rain, it's it's not damp or anything, but I can't put in, you know, I can't keep putting my coats on like I was doing. My goal is to try to get six on there. In six months, you redo it again because it comes off. So like I said, all of the, all of the sides here, 
Even with the cracks, I caulked them to keep water from getting in there because yes, it will rust inside there and your wood will start to buckle and rot. So I didn't want any of that. I wanted to try to prolong this as long as I can. Of course, this is on here and I bought these little locks to change that. So I don't have that because, you know, the uh, raccoons that are like two years old, I wouldn't say they're two years old, but they're like a two year old person that has the nimble fingers and can get anything done. So, oh, we'll start with my window that I forgot here. So here's my window. So as you see, I have this seal which is weather stripping that you can do because when it came as there was a gap. So when it did rain, the rain would come this this direction and it would it would get right in. Well, what's wrong, boys? Oh, there's an alarm. They see something out there. Um so this is the window. The way I have I mounted it's a fan which is encased on the inside so the way that it goes is that it circulates it in a round circle but it also blows out air as well so here is the inside so I've done a little bit of things I got more things I want to do <laughs> for being so loud okay so the inside of course I hung up a little picture I had gotten this it's hard to hold it with this hand okay this little ladder here for them which fits inside i actually you you can find that on amazon i'll put the link there this one i got off of that site timu or whatever it's called that's where i got it but it is also on amazon here's one of the bars here i wanted to take it out because if you were to go in and out to get to the nesting box, it would, you know, you, you have to remove this all the time unless you go through the side. So now I've decided I'm going to eliminate, I'm going to eliminate this, this whole thing. Um, I'm probably going to make it a shelf. It's already got the bars there. So I don't know. I might put the, the food up there or I don't know. No, I'm not putting food up there. That's right. So I'll show you how it opens in the back. Come on, boys. Move out of the way. So when you come around to the side, it has a window here, which I love, but I'm not on that side. I'm also lucky that here um, in Florida, your coop has to be 100 yards away from my house. This whole lot next door is empty. We have a lot on the other side of our house that it's not empty, but I don't know exactly what it is. If it's a construction person's place or a business or something like that, they only store stuff there. Nobody actually physically lives there. So I am lucky that nobody complains about my five roosters crowing and making lots of noise. Actually, the neighbors on the street kind of like the sound of them because they're, you know, they're a good distance. So here is what they call the, the way to get into the nesting boxes, as you see here. I am getting rid of that. I'm going to take, as you see, all of my gold right there, the hardware cloth, and I am going to staple on the inside and make this another ventilation, a window. So I will make that a shelf where they can sit there and I will have then two areas for air to flow in and out. So I thought that was cool. That, you know, I was like, hey, I could do this. And for nesting boxes, since I have five, um, I'm going to, I ordered two from, I'll leave the link for that. You can find them either on Amazon, the same one, which is through the company, My Favorite Chicken or through their website and i will show you where i will put those i'm not going to put them in here so even though this thing says 14 chickens i have five and this is just big and roomy for five but like i said i'm eliminating nesting boxes i'm trying to make it where they have more room because of 
we're going, you know, we're in the season of hurricane season. And so there's going to be days like there just was. They had to be in here for a couple of days. Well, this little area is pretty tight for five chickens when you can't do anything. So I'm trying to make it to where when that happens, they do have some place they can go. They'll have two window. I mean, they'll have this window, but they'll have two ventilation windows to be still be able to look out and the weather will not harm them. I'm trying, I'm going to invent something of like an awning that goes over that where yes, I can take up and down the, um, door but rain can't actually come into the window the reason why i'm doing that is the first day that i tried the idea of oh look just leave this down and it rained it rained all over the floor and the floor is particle board that is part of this packing of the coop and if it gets wet yes it is going to buckle so I put my waterproofing down there. I caulked around the sides. Before I put the board back down there, I made sure I put my layer of hard the cloth. As you see that I'm starting around the side here. There's Daryl. And there's Tom, Jerry, and Squeakers over there. <laughs> and Ricky is on the porch. Um... So there's the hardware cloth on the whole bottom of this. So you have the metal frame, the hardware cloth, the particle board. Then I have it painted with the milk paint. Then I have the um, oil stuff on it from milk paint to weatherproof the bottom from any mold, mildew, or anything like that growing. Then I get from, I'm learning all of this from watching videos and what other people have done and things that did work and things that didn't work that I'm trying to do since this is my first my first uh, flock of birds so or hens chickens so I have the it's a the diamantus earth is on the floor first then I have um, the sweet coop from it my, my chickens or something. I'll leave that down there. That they actually have down here in uh, Rule King. They have that. So I had bought that, which makes, you know, it absorbs odor and stuff. And I put that. Then I watched another video. I, since I watched it on the smart TV, I did not see any links under the video to find out where you could buy the clay. Cause evidently if you buy the clay, not hard clay, crumbled clay, it will take out smell as well. It'll absorb it. And I was usually the person that every once a week that I would clean their coop out. Now, when I put this one together, as you see, I have a board down here. So I'm going to try this uh, deep litter. It's just the ammonia and stuff you have to stay on top of. And I hope I get it right. That's for sure. Um, as you see my fan over there. And I have a way there is my thermometer. So that way I can um, keep track of how hot that it will get in here. So basically the fan runs all day. This is actually the uh, medium speed. I usually have it on the low speed, but like I said, they were in here and I had the tarp over it. Since I had gotten all of this done, this did not leak but my run was still leaking. So I was putting the tarp over it. Okay, they're yelling at me. I think Squeakers is yelling at me to get out of here. As soon as I have taken the girls out today and I have to take them out one by one, I'm too afraid to let them on the ground or even let them free range since two of them are all white. They're not meat birds. Um, I think they're the late leghorn or something like that. So here I am. I'm in the front. I don't, I hope this. And of course, even though it's cloudy, it's quit raining, but it's hot in there. So this was one of my early things when I had gotten my boys and they were five to six months old. 
one of the videos that I watched on YouTube said about a radio. Now, not a radio that has music. I got, you put it on a talk channel because for some reason at night, predators hear the human voice talking. They think somebody's in this area. They avoid that area. I did that. It's been working great for me. Um, also, the ammonia on rags, I was putting around the coop. Now, like I said, this coop was not this one. It was a different one that me and my son put up in a couple days. And if I had a picture and I could insert it, it looks like a shape, like I had a boat under a tarp. And I had that for over a year and no problem. Thank goodness. But not to say that will ever happen. Now, this is the inside of the coop. As you see, here's a swing that I had bought for them right now. <laughs> have my rag over it. Um, this rag is what I use when I'm putting the oil on, and then I got to wipe it off. And I, you know, I have it on there. I've oiled down this for waterproofing. So, because I don't want it to get all moldy and mildewed yet. I'll probably eventually will paint this as well. So, <laughs> this coop, the front run, has turned into like my storage area while I was working on that one. So, when I told you about my nesting boxes, since the nesting box on my chicken is 18 inches, I am going to put my nesting box here. I also have a solar fan that I got, which was the exhaust fan that I was planning to put here as well. I also have another fan like the fan that you see on the inside that I was going to hang up here. So there, therefore, because you know, here in Florida, it is so hot and humid, not only will they have the air on the inside blow on them, but when they're out here, it'll blow on them. I cannot put misters here in Florida because that just makes it hotter. It makes it wet and makes mold and mildew will grow. It's not like any place up north that the misting will make it cool air. That doesn't happen here. It makes it hot and humid. And so I have to find some place to hang this on up here, make some kind of shelf or something up here. As you see, I got part of my hardware cloth on. I had this open. Actually, I don't know why my sons were helping me with this. And I think that's as far as they got it because they did <laughs> this site as well. Now, they started with this side and hadn't completed. I don't know if you can see down there. You see the roll there? So they've gotten it down here, but only so far. So it's not up the other side. So that's why they're not up front here. Um, yes, I do have, I actually have my cloth, which I've seen two different kind of things. I have the hardware cloth, as you see, on my floor but it's not gonna stay like that. I'm getting some boards that are very wide that are gonna go along the sides. I'm putting the hardware cloth along the outside like you've seen on the sides of the coop with cinder blocks. And then I'm filling that up with dirt, well, sand, dirt, whatever you wanna call it that they have here in Florida for them in the run. Also, this here, this is a pan which is actually quite deep that I plan to put on one side of the coop or the other. And that's gonna be the dust bath and it's kind of going to be, I guess you could say be buried or in. So like right now it's on the floor and then the dirt and everything will, <laughs> I am just so not good at this without my stand. So as you see, you know, how, how far it is from the floor. So that is about how deep I want to make the, the dirt, the sand, whatever for the run. So they can do what chickens normally do, which is dig holes to China. And the reason for it on the bottom is so nothing can dig in. And not only that, because of the big pin I have up front, even though it has the side skirting on it they will still, they will dig deep enough that the chicken will dig out because I've gotten one of them without running around. And I was like, oh my God. 
And so that is it right now. <laughs> I should have done this when I first started this whole thing and documented the whole way, but I haven't. But that's how I'm going. Again, this is the Producer's Pride Guardian Coop, which I look at it as a great, <laughs> it's a great bones, as you would say. Because even though it's there, then I'm doing all of this other stuff on top of it. I've seen videos of other people that have it or their chickens still gotten, you know, got to. I made sure the underneath the floor. And as you see around that that's the coop itself so the floor has it the hardware cloth then i have the hardware cloth that's around the coop itself with the cinder blocks so that whole coop area up there is done so i felt safe that i could put them in there not worry about anything crawling up from the bottom or anything like that there's no way nothing can get in there i hope but you never know there might be some critter out there that'll find a way to get in um and what i'm working on now is the front part of this to get that done and move them in but like i said so they're not you know stuck in this little in that little coop there i kick the boys out i put them in there because the boys free range all day the girls i am not ready to let them free range um i have my fifth rooster which is really really tiny and he is about five to six months old and i try to let him free range and the other roosters were out as well but they were on another part of the property since i have two 2.5 acres so they are on another part of the property and i thought okay we'll be fine well he's right here with us we just keep him with us those things came across the <laughs> land like a bullet and it took forever to catch him and I don't know exactly what kind of chicken he is. I just thought he was cute because he's so little. Chicken! Hey, Ricky! Hey, Ricky! I don't know if you guys can see him in there. Let me see. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. So that is Ricky. And this, this is where the, um, that is where I actually had all 10 of them ran there when they were little.